Welcome, in front of me I have the Redmi 14C and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of the device. When you put it up for the very first time you'll be presented with the page that you can see right here, Xiaomi Hyper OS. We're just gonna click on the arrow and now we can select our desired language from the list. Now there is plenty to choose from so once you find yours click on the one that you want to use and then click on the next page. Uh, then you'll have your region. For me it already selected the correct one but again just find it from the list if it did not do that for you. Next we have terms and conditions. You can click on either one of those. So you have user agreement and privacy policy. And once you've done so, uh, which you know, we all read those diligently, sarcastically speaking, I can then select the checkbox right here and go to the next page. Next we have checking for SIM card. This step is completely useless. You can insert a SIM card at any point throughout the setup process. And the only reason why it shows up here is because Wi-Fi uh, and uh, SIM are the two different ways you can connect to network and if you choose to skip both of those like I am then date and time won't be set automatically uh, Google login page will not show out throughout, throughout the setup process and uh, backup or, or restore of your device will not be available throughout the setup process now this all can be changed later on after the setup is finished so you don't need to worry about it so I'm gonna skip both of those actually no I won't be able to skip both of those as the device is locked for me so We'll see. It did go forward for some reason. It might just drop me back. If that will happen, then this is because it might be FRP locked. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, skip the uh, screen lock, but here you can choose some kind of screen lock and you have a couple options like fingerprint, face recognition, and pin pattern or password. If you're planning to use any of these two, you will always be required to select a pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is that if something would happen to your biometrics, meaning your fingerprint or your face, uh, or the sensors on the device that read those, and you would lose access to your device. Hence, that leaves you with the pin, uh, the pin pattern or password. Next, we have some basic settings like location, sending user and diagnostic data. Yeah, that sounds so basic. Uh, automatic system update, uh, personalized ads, uh, ads and uh, user experience programs. So yeah, these are all so basic. Um, so basic that most people ignore them because they don't know what they are actually. So let me go over them. Location, I can turn that off. Uh, it, if you find an application that requires uh, localization, or location services, it will tell you that it ain't gonna run without them because uh, apparently apps now deserve to always know where you are located at. Uh, go screw yourself here. Uh, then we have next, uh, uh, send user and diagnostic data. Again, just data gathering bullshit on your device that just uh, supposedly helps to improve companies, uh, improve their experience for the device. And no. Uh, automatic system update. Again, this is up to you. If you want uh, your device to automatically update when there's a new version of Android or security patches, you can keep that on. Next, we have personalized uh, aids, uh, ads. Um, so, uh, this basically uh, is a pervy option that just continuously spies on you uh, and then gives you ads based on what, for instance, you might be interested in. Uh, and that also includes what you're talking about, searching for, or writing uh, to people uh, in encrypted applications. You might imagine how that is just kind of, uh, uh, you know, not, uh, not a very private thing to have enabled. And I love the uh, basic explanation, personalized ads based on your interests. Could you elaborate what that means? Because like I mentioned, it does it through microphones, typings and all that stuff. And out of all of the options, this is the only shit that comes up with a pop-up uh, with a reverse psychology option uh, that no, 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 you do want this shit. And if you obviously click on the button that it would usually do to confirm your decision, which in this case would have been confirming turning it off, this bullshit just stays on. Xiaomi, go piss off with this crap. So we're gonna select that turn off. Uh, I don't care what you want to do here. Uh, you do want to turn that garbage off. Uh, and next we have user experience programs. And that just mumbo jumbo that I don't even want to get into. So we can turn that off um, and obviously you won't see any kind of difference. And we have update apps automatically. That's completely up to you. Anyway, going to the next page, we have uh, turn on 
parental control. Not sure why that is showing up here. It's the first time I'm seeing this, so I'm just gonna skip that. Obviously, if you do want to enable this, go right ahead and do so. Next, we have fonts. Uh, so we have two different uh, font styles. We have the uh, the Misense and the default ones. Uh, it looks like the Misense is also a little bit bigger than the normal one, uh, but it's just a style. Next, we have um, set up your lock screen. Uh, this refers to the wallpaper carousel. And what that is, is basically random wallpapers that will show up on your lock screen whenever you press uh, your power button to just kind of like wake up the screen. And these are just like a catalog of different wallpapers and they're all over the place. So you might have something like you can see right here, uh, some volcano, uh, beach, uh, cat or celebrities or suitcases or stuff like that. So it, it's all over the place. And personally, I don't really like this. So I'm going to select skip, uh, but you can turn that on and then in the settings, turn it off if you don't like it. Uh, then we have set default launcher. So we have the uh, classic, which is uh, all the applications smack in the middle of your home screen, which it is classic, but for Apple users, not Android. Uh, and then we have the app drawer, which is what I will be selecting. And this finishes up the setup. So let's just wait for it to do whatever it's doing that apparently didn't have time to do before. Now, like I mentioned before, uh, the device is locked, so it might be taking a while just because of that. If that is the case, uh, I might just like, if it's not gonna do anything in a minute, I might just cut the video. Uh, but that being said, when you get to this page, uh, after preparing your system, you get a, like a arrow right here and this just takes you to the home screen. So we'll see if, like in a minute I get this or not. If not, I'm just going to finish it up here and uh, try to unlock my device because it is clearly locked. Oh, we got an arrow. And yep, there we go. So it's telling me that I need to actually connect to network and it just brings me back to the first page. So I guess I'm just gonna go through that quickly. Let's skip this. So I'm just going through this quickly right now just so I can get back. I technically still didn't get any kind of verification page, so... Oh, but it removed the lock, so I guess I can finish it up now. And there we go. So that took a bit longer than usually, just because of that verification. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.